Sinead, thank you very much for joining us here today to talk about Citizen Information Service as part of Positive Ageing Week 2020. So my name is Sinead Tynan. I'm an information officer with the Citizens Information Service and I'm based in Thurlis in County Tipperary. The Citizens Information Service provides information, advice and advocacy services to the members of the public. The service is free, it's confidential and it's an independent service. So none of your information will be shared with other, other state agencies. Until the arrival of COVID, I would have met with members of the public on a daily basis who would have called into our office um, to talk about issues which are uh, arising in their, in their lives. Um, since COVID, we've been dealing with our clients through uh, email and by telephone, mostly by telephone. And we're, having, we're still very, very busy with all of the people coming in and making contact with us. Very occasionally we can take uh, an appointment, but it really is on an emergency basis or if we really cannot deal with the issue over the phone. Okay, so you've had to make a lot of changes. And, and... We sure have had to make a lot of changes, yes. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been an interesting and exciting time. But, you know, I think it's been the same for everybody else and we're all adapting. And I think in general people are really uh, are making a very good job of it. That's it. So I suppose, would you tell us a little bit about the Citizens Information Service and, you know, what's on offer? Or what? Sure. The Citizens Information Service provides information, advice and advocacy services to members of the public. Um, our service is free, it's confidential and it is independent from all other services. People come to us with queries in relation to all aspects of their lives, um, really from almost before people are born, to do with maternity services and health services that are available and until after they die. So issues about making wills, inheritance, funeral arrangements and that kind of thing and everything in between. Okay. Um, we, we would cover topics like social welfare, uh, taxation, employment law, uh, immigration, travel abroad, health services, housing support. So there are lots of different things that people contact us about. I mean, that's just, just a huge range of topics and information. How do you keep up to date with everything? Yes, it's a, there's a vast amount of information out there um, and it changes very regularly. But the Citizens Information Service is lucky. We're supported by the Citizens Information Board who have a team which provide us with our information and who give us news and policy updates on a daily basis. Um, the recent changes brought about by the COVID pandemic have really tested our capacity to keep up to date and to provide uh, relevant information to people. But, but we've been doing that um, on an ongoing basis over the last number of months. So in constantly changing circumstances, sometimes daily and sometimes even hourly, um, we've been able to keep people up to date and give them accurate and clear information on their rights and entitlements. Um, what if I need more than just information? So the citizens' information can also provide advice to people on their situation. For instance, people may be unsure about what would happen um, if they lost their job or if somebody in their family was diagnosed with a long-term illness or if they had a disability. So we can provide advice and go through all of the various scenarios, talk through the options with them that, that they may, may have in that new situation for them. So we aim to leave people in a better position to make decisions about their lives which will affect themselves and their families. So, so that's a really important thing for people to, to have good advice um, for going forward. If a person contacts us then with maybe something that's more complex and that might need more than just a single uh, conversation or single intervention, we can provide what's called an advocacy service to the person. This could mean giving maybe just once off assistance. We might make a phone call for somebody or we might negotiate with somebody on the client's behalf. It may be to do with uh, an issue at work. We could contact your employer and have a discussion with them about something that's of issue for you. Or we could contact a utility company maybe about a bill and maybe make arrangements for you um, regarding the service with the utility company. Um, so, so that would be a shorter term advocacy intervention. We could also take on a longer term advocacy inter intervention which would involve maybe uh, working with you on an appeal for a social welfare claim or on a case for the Workplace Relations Commission. We could also represent you at any hearings that may arise uh, in those situations. So there's an awful lot more to the Citizens Information Service than just information. Uh, we're there to provide also advice and advocacy 
to help people who are in need. That's incredible, the amount of work. And what kind of people would use your service? So almost all members of the community can come and use our service. Really people who are from their teenage years up until um, very elderly people would come into us. We also, we get queries from people who are working, people who are not working, um, from people who run their own businesses or people who are trying to set up their own businesses, um, people who have disabilities or people who are immigrants to the country and also Irish people who are coming home to live in Ireland who may have been living abroad for a number of years. So really, absolutely everybody can come in to see us. And if you're any, in any kind of a situation where you need to know what are the social services in the country or what are the public services that are out there that I can benefit from, um, we're the place to come to get information on that. So if someone comes to you with a situation and you maybe don't know exactly the answer for them, what happens next? So if we don't know the answer to the question straight away, we'll do our very best to find it for you or we'll direct you to the person who can answer the question for you. Okay, that's really helpful for people because I suppose when we don't know where to go, we feel a bit lost. With COVID pandemic, are your offices open at the moment? Well, unfortunately, um, due to the COVID pandemic, we've had to close our offices to the drop-in service, which we would normally have given to people. Um, however, the staff are still operating. We're still working, taking phone calls and answering emails. So we're still getting an awful lot of queries from the members of the public. Okay. What happens if you can't answer the question over the phone or are there situations where you can't? Occasionally there are situations where we can't answer the question over the phone and then we may be in a position to give people an appointment to come and see us. Um, particularly maybe if there's issues with the translation or if somebody is very distressed and we really need to see them face to face. In that case, we'll ask a person to wear a mask and we will have screens and we will use all the necessary sanitation facilities to make sure that the visit is safe. But we'd be very happy to see people in those circumstances too. What are some of the kinds of questions that I can go to the Citizens Information Service with? So a very common query into the Citizens Information would be from somebody who's thinking of applying for their state pension. There is the state contributory pension and the state non-contributory pension. Um, people aren't sure of the differences between the two. They may be wondering how they can qualify for either of them. So our information officers will be able to speak to the client, get their information from them and give them good advice on which pension to apply for and whether or not they may be entitled to a payment there. We'll also be able to tell people about the other supports that might be available to them along with their pension. Um, Perhaps they may also have questions then about employment related issues. There may be issues with their employer or they might be interested in knowing what leave entitlement they have, uh, what holidays they're entitled to, um, or maybe they'd like to know about services that are available to them in their local communities. Okay. So we can help them with all of those with issues. With all of those. That's brilliant. The other thing then is some people will come into us maybe for just a general benefits check to see Am I availing of all of the entitlements that are available to me? So we will be able to sit down and talk to them about their situation. We we'll look at anything that might be there for them and hopefully send them away with the information that they need. Now, I know we've touched a little bit about being online these days, um, but how have you managed to, to get that up and, and going? Well, yes, an awful lot of um, people are, are accessing information online these days. And the government services in particular are moving a lot of their um, services online and expecting people to apply for things online. Now an awful lot of people don't have access to computers and they don't have internet facilities so the citizens information is available to people to help them to go online and to make any applications that they may need to make online. We can help people to access revenue services, to apply for the MyGovID, which will give people access to all of the social welfare services. So we're very happy to help people to do that. So I could ring you with that and, and you would help me? Yes, you can ring, the, ring our offices and we will help you over the phone. Um, either we will direct you as you do the work yourself or we may be able to do the work for you with you giving us the information over the phone. Okay. Could you tell us just a little bit about privacy then when people contact you? Every query to the Citizens Information Service is made in absolute confidence. We take uh, client confidentiality very seriously and we do not share people's information with other agencies unless the client gives 
their express permission for that. Um, we will only hold your information uh, in compliance with GDPR. And the Citizens Information Service is a service that people can trust and they come back to us again and again looking for information. Sinead, just as a recap for our viewers, could you just remind me of how people can contact you? So people can contact any of the Citizens Information Centre phone numbers uh, in their local area. If we cannot answer your call immediately, please leave a message and clearly state your phone number and we promise that we will get back to you within 24 hours. You can also call the National Phone Service, which is 0761 07 4000, or you can find us on citizensinformation.ie. We also have a national callback service on our website, citizensinformation.ie. If you click on the yellow banner across the top of the page, fill in a couple of details with your name and your phone number, one of our information officers will call you back. That's very accessible for people. Thank you so much. And I have learned a, a huge amount today about the amount of people that, that can be helped and, and go to your service. Thanks very much. Ned. You're welcome. Thank you.